So sometimes you're working on an architectural project and there's windows which you need to fill. Now is in Twinmotion 2025.2 you can use parallax windows which are really helpful to do this in a quickly and effective manner. However, sometimes you need some specific parallax. For instance, here I need a parallax which is some type of elevator hole with two doors, each one on each side I'm modeling could probably take me a while adding textures and all that stuff and maybe that's not the main point of what I'm doing here so we can use custom windows custom windows will allow us to introduce textures that we create ourselves in order to add our own parallax customized by ourselves so in order to understand how this all works let me reduce the exposure here this custom window template that the motion team added for us is very explanatory so let's see this is the texture that we need to add in order for it to work properly as a parallax it will be a grid of three by three boxes that we have around here these ones that we have in the middle the yeah, the cross that's forming here are the main parts of the parallax why because this back is the back wall the back wall that we see in the image this one here is the ceiling this one here is the floor this one here is the right wall and the left wall so this contains the information that that create this type of perspective type of box that's being created inside the parallax and the other four are the layers see here layer one layer two layer layer three i'm not sure what's layer two okay this lamp and layer four which are the chair and the side table so these are elements that we can control within the scene and using this depth parameter that we are, have in the layer section we can control where are they located as you can see here layer one layer two and this give us the ability to variate each of the of the parallax that we, we are creating and to customize them to our own taste okay so now you understand how this all works so we need to create a texture like this one that have this same structure and we are going to do so right now to create this i'm going to use this canva tool which is an online and free tool that you can use it also have a premium version with some additional features now you can use it for free if you wish okay so i've created here the grid with these four boxes over here that will be the main part of the parallax and in order to create the the, the information that will be inside each of these boxes i'm going to use ai on today's video i'm going to use google ai studio because it has some very nice and free uh, image models that we can use wait here for a second you can try using nano banana which is the latest model right now or i'm going to use imaging which i also like to use and allow us to all uh, to to select some type of aspect ratio and output resolution for the image that will be generated okay so i'm leave it i'm going to leave it like it is and here you can input some type of prompt i've already created the images to make the the video the explanation much faster and here i have them so i've created in this case the the wall the back wall that will be here in the middle this back wall is just a front view completely orthogonal of a wall with an elevator door and here we have it i've created another one of a front view of an interior wall with a black wood residential door in the middle completely visible it's necessary that all the wall and all the door is visible if it's cut like here it won't work you need to see the up to the floor but the floor is not needed to be visible we're going to cut this uh, in the next step and a sign of the apartment i've also created other textures i have them around here of a ceiling of a floor and this one that we will use eventually which is this one a product photography from view of a tall indoor plant on white background no other element so let's go straight to it so i'm going to upload all these images that i'm going to use let's first upload the walls here we have it 
and I'm going to use this back wall I'm going to position it exactly where I need it to be but if you notice and there's an issue okay so that so the, the the textures need to only contain the wall it cannot contain another part of the image if you, if you see here this the floor is being is visible and we don't want this because this will create a very strange effect the floor needs to be here so I'm going to cut this image let's maintain the aspect ratio and let's cut it around here so the floor is now not visible okay good now let's put it around here and let's do the same with the other images I have it here going to position it here but hey we need to cut this one too Okay. So this will not be the most accurate because if I just mirror the image, well the number will be inverted too, but as a fast solution in this case, so we can proceed with the tutorial. I'm going to do this. I'm now going to upload the ceiling and the floor. And we now have it ready to use. So important. These other boxes, which are now white, which are we contain nothing that are the layers. It's really important that you when you download this, you use a file format that supports transparency and make sure to enable transparency because if this is not transparent but a white background, well this will not work because you are going to have a white wall on top of everything because remember that this is a layer that will be on top of the image okay so i'm going to download this and i'm going to return here to twin motion let's maybe change the size of this because this will probably be a square uh, a square the aspect ratio is one one and let's open the texture that we just created, which is this one. You need to also add it to the night setup. Here we have it. And now there it is. It looks quite interesting. There's the floor, there's the ceiling, there's the elevator wall and the other walls. We can try to configure this a bit, maybe changing the width radio to make this look like this and change the depth. Maybe we can customize it to our own taste let's position it here and re let's reduce it to make it more real and it's looking really great let's move this around here to center it good what's really great about this is that we go here we're going to see the the ceiling if we go down here we see the the, the floor we also see both walls and the elevator wall at the back so let's now add that plant that we had already made i'm going to upload it to here it is it's important that you remove the background since i'm using canva premium i can do it from here but if you have any other tool you can remove the background in any other editing tool that you have or any ai tool okay so here we are i have it and i'm going to position it here in layer one this is layer one remind okay and um, in order to correctly position it you need to keep in mind that if you put it here well it will appear around here around here sorry this is the front view the the, the 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 back wall it will appear around here if you put it here it will appear here so a great strategy is to locate it where you want it to be from the front view maybe here and now copy both of them 
place them here I'm going to remove this one done let's remove this one too and let's export this again download transparency and here we have it let's go back let's add here the new image oh you, you see it here this one contains the plant over there and we add it you need to add it to both here it is and if you see nothing actually here it is I was looking at the other side and how do we control it well it was layer one we can change its depth to place it here in the back or place it here in the front and this is really helpful as you can see now we can now change a bit the exposure maybe it's a bit bright this is is the night now oh, let's reduce this one here let's reduce this one here now it may may look much realistic and let's move this to the other floors and now in a quick and easy way we have created this parallax that we can use for our project we can maybe reduce a bit the exposure a bit more and this looks really great because if we take a picture from the side or we are doing a video well it will react to that movement and now you can see the, the, the door from here the other drum from here and the elevator door from the front view this is very useful and you can use it for those projects where the custom or where the built-in parallax will maybe not work for you let's do here a path tracing render to see how it looks And great! I invite you to watch the next video to see other things that you can do with Intune Motion.